Today, we are going to overview the use of the verb used to. Use used to to talk about situations in the past that don't happen anymore. For example, I used to play tennis every weekend. And a second use for used to is to talk about habits or activities in the past that we don't do anymore. For example, I used to go to the gym. These are the uses of used to mainly. Let's check the grammar structures of this verb. Affirmative sentences. As you can see in the table, we have the subject, then used to, then infinitive. We are going to use used to for any subject. We don't change it. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, used to, and then infinitive and complement. In negative sentences, we are going to form the negative using the auxiliary verb did, because remember that used to is in past. That's why we use did as an auxiliary verb. And then the particle not contracted. Didn't used to. Remember that if we have the auxiliary verb, the main verb is going to be in the simple form. In this case, use without D. Follow by infinitive, then complement. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they didn't use to play football. In the interrogative sentences, as we know, we start them with the auxiliary did at the beginning, then the subject, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, and we write the, uh, the main verb again without D, used to followed by infinity. Then the complement. Did she used to play computer games? Finally, remember that the interrogative sentences have two possible short answers, affirmative or negative. Did she used to play computer games? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Yes, he did. Yes, we did. Yes, they did. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, he didn't. No, she didn't. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. Okay. As you see, this structure is very easy because we use the same structure for any subject, for any person. It doesn't change. Let's check some exercises about used to. Instructions. Write an affirmative sentence using the prompts given. Okay, using these words, you are going to tell me a affirmative sentence using used to. A volunteer, please. A volunteer for the first one. My sister um, did go. No, Have my sister been? did used to go bed early. Repeat, Astrid, please. My sister did use to go bed early. My sister is that subject. Then we have. Uh -huh. Because you are saying two subjects, only one. My sister. Did go? No, no did, because we are in affirmative. My sister. Iker, can you help us? Used to. 
but say it complete. My sister used to go to bed early. Okay, my sister used to go to bed early. We cannot use here did because remember that the main verb is used to. Okay, and any person is going to be used to, followed by the infinitive. We are going to use did in negative and did in interrogative. Okay, thanks a lot, Iker. Thanks. Number two, please, another volunteer. A volunteer for number two in this exercise. Um, Seria, we used to live in a village. Yes, we used to live in a village. Okay, thank you. Number three, please, another volunteer. It is very easy because it's affirmative. They used to watch a, a lot of TV. Can you repeat it, Fernando, please? They used to watch a lot of TV. They used to watch a lot of TV. Thank you, Fernando. Another volunteer, please. Come on, you can do it. It's easy. Peter used to work in an office. Thank you, Emily. Peter used to work in an office. Thanks a lot, Emily. The last one, please, another volunteer. Girls used to eat a lot of vegetables. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Used to eat, exactly. Check, we use, used to all the time. Followed by the infinitive. Used to go, used to live, used to watch, used to work, used to eat. There is no problem, it's very easy. Let's continue, please. Exercise two, write a negative sentence using the prompts given. Now we are going to write the negative or say, in this case, sorry. You are going to say the negative sentence using used to. A volunteer for the first one. Andy, Andy didn't drink tea. What is use? Jose Alberto, you forgot to mention used. Repeat it, please, Alberto. Andy used didn't? No, Andy, the auxiliary. Mm. A very care, please. Help us. Seria, uh, Andy didn't use to drink tea. Exactly. Andy didn't use to drink tea. Remember that for negative, use didn't, and the verb is going to be in present, used, and followed by the infinitive. Didn't use to drink. In these kind of sentences, we use the auxiliary didn't to form it. Number two, please. Sue li didn't use to listen to rock music. Exactly, Emily, thank you so much. Emmanuel, do you want to participate? Please, number three, Emmanuel. They didn't play base basketball. Thank you, Emmanuel. They didn't use to play baseball. Lisette. Number four, please. And then Jose Alberto, number five. Miss mm, Le, Le didn't use to teach Japanese. Yes, yes, you said Japanese. Okay, Jose Alberto, number five, please. Julio didn't use to have a pet. Yes, Julio didn't use to have a pet. Okay, as you see, it's very, very easy to form affirmative, negative, and then we are going to check the interrogative sentences. Remember that for the interrogative sentences, 
we used to the auxiliary did, but in this case, it's going to be at the beginning. A volunteer for number one, please. Seria did the Simit uh, used to have a pet? Thank you, Iker. Thanks a lot for your help. Yes, you're right, Iker. Thanks a lot. Okay, number two. Did your dad use to have play, play soccer? Not have, because have is for the first one. But in the second example, you have only the verb play. Say it again, please, Lisette. Without have. It's correct, but you need to omit have. You did you did did your dad este, use to play soccer? Yes, thank you. Okay. Have because we have it in the first one, but in the second we have play. Remember, after used to, we use the verb in simple form. Did your dad? used to play soccer yes thanks number three please a volunteer for number three did you emily did you used to like jazz yes did you used to like jazz yes thank you next number four Number four, a volunteer, please. Did you used to eat vegetables? Number four, Yair. Ah, sorry. <laughs> did you, uh, did uh, Maria used to study Latin? Exactly, did Maria used to study Latin? Thanks. Number five. Did you used to eat vegetables. Yes, Jose Alberto, thank you. Okay, your participation was excellent from all of you. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your participation and for watching this presentation. Okay, as I told you, the grammar topic is very short. Okay, and then I don't know if you have any comment, any doubt, suggestion. No? Okay. Este, ya están abiertos los foros tres y cuatro para que con tiempo vayan subiendo sus actividades. Sí, y este. Y nos vayamos preparando para el examen de las unidades 3 y 4. See you next, next Saturday. Thank you so much for your time and your attendance to this virtual class. Don't forget to write your name and your group on the chat box. See you. Bye bye.